Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are hitting up the mod browser and we are typing in race. Damn it, that's not how you type it. And we are typing in race. Boom. Because it has been a minute since I checked out Mr. Plague's authentic races mod. And I've heard that it's been updated a good bit since then. As you can see, we see all the races here. I don't know if any are new. But the main thing we want to check out is all the other race mods. As you see, other people have made more races for the mod. And we're going to try and check some of those out here today. See if any are cool. So let's get to it. We're going to obviously download the OG mod, of course. And then we're going to grab the Martian race mod we're gonna grab steel custom race mod we're gonna grab shaggies add-on races hopefully i am grabbing the right ones because uh some of these might not even use mr plague's mod some of them might just be their own thing but i'll grab a handful here we don't want to grab too many because we could always check out more in another video summoner master race haha <laughs> that's hilarious and let's grab this one right here vam kuma's races yes sir and i think that should be enough for this video all right so if we go into single player here we click new look at this this is awesome this feels so much like an rpg now given that you know Turi is pretty much an rpg but this feels more like a starbound menu you know this feels like a skyrim menu not really skyrim's menu is not this cool but yeah look at this we got all the races we checked out in the original video goblins merfolk mushfolk skeleton vampires kenkus this one might be new the fluff trodon oddly raptor like in appearance the fluff trodons greatly value the arts cool we got the tabaxis we got the dragon kin we got the kobolds the dirt kin and then here we go we got some of the custom races martians no longer on mars this subspecies of martians are domesticated after that we got the deer deers are very kind and peaceful they only fight when absolutely necessary we got the cacto living cactus species almost went extinct due to the dragonkin wars look at the little lore they're adding in that's awesome this is the fucking freddy fosbear race <laughs> a recently formed jungle society that aims to have a quiet and peaceful life and then last but not least oh actually no there's one more after this we have the baphoma baphoma are demon goat like creatures i'm assuming like baphomet a demon goat creature uh and then we have steel humanoid race made of living metal very sturdy but not fond of fighting all right so we got a couple of things to check out here let's start with uh the fluffrodon here i like how some of them do have different background pictures that's a nice little detail there we have the fluffrodon let me read this part their history is baffling seeming to suggest they abruptly popped into existence out of nowhere ability paint press radical ability hockey to toggle a painting ui you can paint while it is active uh, additional notes movement speed and jump height increased by 15 percent and 10 percent when at full health and then you can see all their uh passives right here i guess they have a minus and attack damage it's a little upsetting uh currently this is cosmetic but this sounds really cool that they can adapt to certain biomes and stuff so they'll be better in certain biomes and not as strong in other biomes that's really cool let's check out the martians martians valued their intellect likely being agitated by wyverns they invaded earth eons ago hey what terraria player isn't agitated by wyverns so their ability is a martian instinct uh you can foresee traps ahead of you aka the danger sense buff pretty cool additional notes this ability has no cooldown in order for it to work you must hold down your racial ability hotkey if you'd like to see all uses for danger sense buff please reference the wiki as a martian you can withstand the heat of lava for exactly a second this being due to their adaption to mars heat oh look but they actually oh this is still cosmetic but they actually do have names listed here mars and earth makes sense honestly that they're not adapted for earth and then here you go you can see all this stuff here i'm just gonna go over it really quickly pause if you really want to see it interesting that they have rocket damage what else do we got here let's check out the deer they live in the deepest forest coming out once a year to provide big festivals their ability is celerity increases your movement speed and jump speed by 20 percent during 10 seconds uh and then here you go you can check all this stuff out so the deer that's a very interesting race it's a, it's a scaredy cat sort of race which makes sense because you know deers are very timid irl you think if someone shines like headlights into your face you'll like freeze for a second i don't know that might be too realistic next up we got the cacto the personally this might be the, my favorite is the cacto i've always thought that like 
the cactus race in Terry is interesting. You may be like, the cactus race? Boom, pop up the picture. Don't think I forgot. Cactus people just vanish. I think they vanish in order for the uh, mushroom or truffle to be a thing. But who knows? Who knows? But yeah, Cacto's the last one of her kind, continuously searching for the others, not knowing the tragic fate they had. Facts, they just got completely removed out of nowhere. I'm behind you, Cacto. Find out the reason why. Let's go over this real quick. Thorns, move speed, attack damage, enemy aggression. Prickle barriers, a special ability. Increases your thorns damage by 1% per 10 maximum health during 30 seconds. While active, you'll receive 6% more damage and any damage reduction effects are disabled. Additional notes, any fire related debuffs make you weaker. All right, let's check out Freddy here. They are excellent fishermen and because of it, their diet is mostly made of fish, but they eat other things like fruits, bugs, and leaves. Pretty sure bears eat humans and meat sometimes. Maybe humans not that often, but I I've seen a bear eat some meat. All right, heavy body. While under the well-fed buff, your damage reduction is increased by 10%. Very nice. Takes no knockback. Nice. I like that. And then here you go. You got all this stuff. All right, two more. Baphoma. Some assume that they wandered from the underworld, but no proof is solid of that. Let's go over all this. They got a bunch of them, as we can see here. Uh, the ability ram. You're able to ram by double tapping the left or right key. Their original appearance is unknown, but it is known that their changes were made by some kind of virus they made. Holy, look how many stats they have. This is crazy they definitely have the most by far all right so their ability is hidden nature press radical ability hotkey for 40 percent of your current health or less if you have less hp you will receive a stat bonus that lasts 20 seconds while buff is active you take no knockback stat bonuses speed 20 percent jump 50 percent bonus damage over buffs 30 percent you also give a weakened version you also give a weakened version of this buff to your allies. I'm assuming that's multiplayer. Cool. Uh, additional notes, 19 unique hairstyles and some unique clothing, immune to life draining debuffs. Some passive bonuses are reduced before hard mode. Thorns ability, more max HP equals more thorns damage multiplier. Regenerates faster while standing still, immune to fire blocks, can't drown. Cross necklace ability at 30% health. So let's start grabbing a bunch of these guys and let's see them in game here. Starting with the, uh, let's start with the steel. Let's start with the steel. So let me hit proceed here. Let's see the rest of you. UI. okay so it goes back to normal i kind of wish that there was a ui here too a starbound ui would be nice but that's the steel let's see the hair oh this is really cool this is really cool we get a lot of options here how many did it say there was oh look at this we just get regular human hair now if you want your robot to have human hair there you go i want one with a nice big eye in the middle singular or not uh, actually let's let's go with this one this looks oh you know what i'm gonna do with this one let's keep it a nice like that color okay okay some of you might see where i'm going with this let's go to the skin color okay and let's make it red <laughs> <laughs> game raiders what have you done i'm sorry i'm sorry that i'm doing this okay it's for the memes though it's for the memes we allow it this one time perfect there is our character actually is there any like style differences oh there is styles okay that's cool i can't really tell like what's what because i've tinted our character too much they're too red for me to tell uh what are we gonna name them we're gonna name them gus all right, here we are in the world as the steel race. The mod includes a couple of items here. Uh, we can toggle our racial stats or we can check out the information. Boom, bring this back up, very nice. Okay, so what does the racial ability do for 40% of your current health? You get a stat bonus. All right, let's see it. Boom, 40% of my health. Hidden nature, rip and tear, that is a really ugly sprite in the top left but we get a stat bonus look at our character i like his little run he does looks like he's about to go vent or something <laughs> yeah look at it. we get a little extra jump height i gotta i gotta toggle it again jump height i already forgot everything else speed bonus damage uh you get a weaker version of the buff to your allies if you have any allies pretty cool but yeah other than that there's really not too much to show off maybe i could put on armor and stuff uh, i don't know how much armor affects what a race looks like i don't remember last time what it did and when i put armor on yeah i think your character just looks normal which is always upsetting but it would be very very hard to make a custom sprite for everything but at the same time that should be like a end goal for all these race mods you know what i'm saying because if you're trying to feel immersed you know you want to be able to have the armor on and your character look like they have the armor on but yeah 
let's move on to the next one we're just going to be checking out all their racial special abilities one by one on to the next all right let's check out the uh fluffterodon now let's go ahead let's proceed here let's see the hair what kind of hair are we working with we get like different horns i'm assuming those are horns on its head uh we could go bald nice who doesn't love a nice bald head let's go with this one let's go with this one i'm gonna make it white the horn part white and then the skin let me get like a nice like orangish tan more orange there you go let's create them we're gonna name them fluff of course creative name all right so special ability it a painting ui something like that is what it said so boom oh look at this paint erase ignore red orange okay hold up so do i i could just click on stuff whoa this is pretty cool i like this i kind of wish the reach was a little bit longer but this is still really cool you can straight up just like paint for free this makes the painter npc even more useless but that's very very cool that you can just paint uh this is straight up like a uh builder class right here paint the grass blood red beautiful all right that's cool i like that i like that maybe not like the the strongest ability but it's definitely unique and if you plan to build a lot and you want to have like a little bit of lore or something included in your terraria building boom bada bing builder fluff tradon all right next up who do we have let's do the martian here all right what kind of stuff do we get for the martian in terms of hair nothing okay it's fine understandable maybe martians are just all bald do we get an eye color see i didn't check this with other ones oh we do get an eye color change but i think it's weird if we just don't leave it black skin color what about skin color change okay we definitely get a skin color let me get like a like a this type of green there you go there we go anything else style wise no okay that's fine we're gonna name him marty i know i'm getting really creative with the names all right so what was the special ability for the martian let's see here it enables the danger sense buff okay this one we're probably not gonna see you have to hold it down which is kind of annoying so unless you bind the key to something easy to hold down maybe not the greatest or fun thing to do to have to have to hold the key down to enable it but there you go danger sense there's not much to it it's just danger sense god damn all right let's do the deer next so their special ability moving speed and jump speed got it what could we do with the hair okay so there's different horns not that many it's all good don't expect there to be like 40 let's get the most badass looking ones the first one's pretty badass and the fourth one let's do that and then can i change the color of the hair okay you can but i'll leave you white this skin come on i want to make the deer brownish because that's usually the deer color you see all the time it's like a light brownish though there you go we're gonna name him daniel but it's dan and yell all right let's activate it boom Look at that, celerity. Increase jump height and movement speed. The jump height doesn't feel crazy. I mean, it'll get us over a couple of blocks. Kind of wish it was like a double jump instead, like a free double jump, that'd be nice. This actually does have a cooldown, which kind of sucks, even in God mode. And then what was the other thing? I think it was just movement speed, right? Yeah, so nothing too crazy here. On to the next one. All right, Cacto, let's do Cacto here, boom. What do we got, any hairstyles? Oh, we do, it's just no rows i'm assuming that's a rose uh or whatever the thing is you find on cactuses every now and then the pink thing prickly pear there you go but there's that you could change the color of it pretty cool let's do red why not uh anything else i could change probably you could change eye color is that its eyes right there i thought the thing in the middle was his eyes this kind of ruins it for me those little tiny like dots what the hell i don't like that well since its name is cacto i'll name it cacto all right let's see it in action here g what does it do again Thorns damage highly increase, you take more damage. Okay, that's not really a good benefit here. I will turn off god mode, hit me. Okay. I don't think anything can beat the new cactus armor set bonus in 1.4.2, or whatever the hell the current version is. But, uh, you know, not bad, I guess. All right, next up, let's do Freddy Fosbear. Let's get to it. Any hair options? No. Okay. Hair color, okay, that doesn't affect anything either. Skin color, let's make a black bear. I wanna make a black bear. Black bears are my favorite. Oh, what about a polar bear? I can make a polar, let's do a polar bear. I like polar bears too, they're pretty cool. They're kinda going extinct, but they're still pretty cool. Name, Uh, let's name them Frederick. No reason why, I'm just kidding, you know the reason. All right, let's hit G. What does G do? I already forgot, what does it do? While under the well-fed buff, your damage reduction increased by 10%. There you go, I ate a pie, so now we should have damage reduction, right? Let me uh turn off God mode here. Go ahead and hit me. 
Yeah, look at that. I'm barely taking damage. This is expert mode, so I would take a little bit of damage. But this is not bad at all. Other than the well-fed stuff, you know, it's not that bad. I guess you can have some mods that counteract that. Because, you know, there's some mods that you can hold the item and you'll always have well-fed. So this would be a very good clash if you want to go tanky, you know? That's one cool thing about the race mod is that you and your boys can pick a bunch of the races. And then you'll all have different bonuses. And then say you want to be the tank. Boom. The bear would be perfect for the tank because of his passive ability. Being able to take less damage when well-fed. Very, very cool. The only downside is if you don't have any friends then uh you know maybe it may be a little bit harder to do last but not least we have the baphomas this one probably is gonna be my favorite in terms of abilities because i love when you don't have to have a shield of cthulhu in your inventory and the shield of cthulhu is one of my favorite items what in the hell it's one of my favorite items one of my favorite expert items and like low-key i feel like it's a must-have in like 90 percent of playthroughs we're gonna name them ramus very unique name you know i know I'm, I'm very creative with the names but yeah let's see the special ability let's take off my clothes we we still have clothes on though when i take off all my clothes huh? but i have the ability to dash passively and it's an actual damage dash too that's pretty good now i wonder how it works if i put like a ninja tabby on do you think it works the same or the master ninja gear not the tabby like does it work the same or do i override it oh look at that I actually make goat noises <laughs> pretty cool but uh it seems like it does not override it i don't know but still to have a dash as a passive bonus no accessory required that's pretty damn amazing because that opens up an extra accessory slot especially if you're like me and you like to use the uh dashes every playthrough so boom that's a free slot open for me maybe we'll play the baphoma in the future but there you go there is a bunch of new races from a bunch of different mod creators and we also got to check out a new one from the mod itself i believe this one wasn't in it maybe it wasn't it and i checked it out twice but yeah, I don't know if anything else has been updated in terms of like abilities and stuff. Who knows? I'm pretty sure most of them are the same. Like this one becomes a bat. I remember that being how it was last time. The only thing I really remember about the original video was, was all the like D&D players yelling at me about like races that I didn't know. I'm sorry, I don't play D&D. I don't, I wouldn't know everything about it. But yeah, all these new races I checked out, very, very cool. Some of them more unique than others, but still I love the idea of there being more races in Terraria. Hopefully if they make a second game, which come on, we know they're gonna make a second game eventually. There's more races in it because I feel like adding races can expand so much. Like I was talking about earlier how, you know, if you play multiplayer, one of your boys can play the tank bear, boom. One of your boys can play the steel race and you'll give everyone a buff from your racial ability. Like, you know, there's a lot of cool things opening up there. But yeah, we're gonna check out even more races in the next video. I just wanted to check out a couple here because this would probably be a long video if I did all of them. But there's a lot more on the mod browser. Make sure to check out all these mods. Shout out everybody. I'll see y'all in the next video.